The new trend for upcoming smartphones is large bezel-less displays, and with these massive screens, some manufacturers are trying to figure out how to take full advantage of it with the software. Ever since the iPhone X, the popular modification is the navigation bar. OnePlus, Xiaomi, Huawei, and Google, with the new Android P updates, have all provided an alternate gesture-enabled nav bar. Each company has its own take, but I believe that gesture controls on Android are going to be the default option for navigation in the future. If you want to get into gesture navigation, then I recommend you check out Navigation Gestures by XDA in the Play Store. It's free to download, doesn't require root, and works on any Android device. The only thing this app requires is accessibility permission and an ADB permission so you can completely hide the stock software buttons on the bottom. If you have root, then you can just grant it access and you're ready to go. I'll quickly guide you through the ADB process, just in case you're stuck. First, make sure you have ADB installed onto your computer. I'll leave a link down below to an easy tutorial if you don't have it. Once you have it installed, we will also need to enable USB debugging on your phone. Just go to the settings, about phone. At the bottom, tap on build number seven times to enable developer options, and then toggle USB debugging within developer options. Then connect your phone to your computer and make sure that USB is enabled on transfer files or MTP. Next, navigate to your ADB folder. Within this folder, hold down the shift key and right click anywhere to open up a menu. Click on open PowerShell window here. Within the PowerShell window, type in ADB devices to make sure that ADB can communicate with your phone. If you never use ADB, then it will probably ask you to authorize your computer for ADB access, so just tap on OK. Then type in the following command. It's case sensitive, so type it exactly seen on screen or copy and paste it from the description. Hit enter and that's it. Now go back into the app, and once you read through the intro, you can enable the pill and hide the navigation bar. Within this bar, you can do all the same actions as the original three button nav bar and a lot more. I made the nav bar take me to the home screen when I tap it once. Swiping left will go back. Swiping right will switch to my previously used app. Swiping up will bring up my recents page. Long pressing will bring up Google Assistant and swiping down will hide the pill. You can also set extra actions for when you double tap it long press it, or even swipe and hold it in a specific direction. If you get the premium version, you can even unlock more actions such as controlling your media, launching an app, taking a screenshot, and more. If you have trouble with the default positioning, size of the bar, animation speed, or even the look, then you can customize all these features and more within the settings. For example, you can change the color and transparency, add a shadow effect, change the corner radius, choose to add vibration, select the apps where you don't want the pill to show up, and more. I haven't experienced any bugs when using these gestures. The only thing I do find annoying is that most apps will have bits of system UI dialogues that appear near the bottom of the screen be cut off. Of course, that's not the developer's fault, but in those situations, you can hide the pill with a swipe down or switch back to the original three button nav bar by blacklisting the app in the settings. For my home screen, I use Nova Launcher to get rid of the dock and it honestly doesn't look that bad. As of now, this is the best way to get a gesture nav bar on any non-rooted Android device that doesn't have Android P. No other competitor in the Play Store has the option to hide the nav bar without needing root. And the developers are really active in bringing you features and fixes. I'll drop a link right below that like button if you want to check it out. Anyways, that concludes this quick video. If you guys found this app review slash tutorial to be useful, then go ahead and let us know by hitting that thumbs up button. Comment down below what you think about gesture controlled nav bars, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.